Hey, it's Tim. And it's Amy from Go With Less. Thanks for being here with us today. It's the second Wednesday of September. You know what that means. It's time to review our August spending. I hope you'll stay tuned and watch the whole thing. It was a doozy of a month. Every Wednesday here on our channel, we come out with a new video, usually talking about our nomadic life or our early retirement. In 2015, we left our careers and retired in our late 40s. And in January of 2020, we sold our home and became full-time nomads. And before we dig deep into the numbers, I do want to make a mention that we are going to do a dedicated video of our fun, fabulous, frugal finds. Lately, we've been putting them into each video, but they're going to go in their own video this month so that maybe this one's a little bit shorter. We've had some long ones and we want to shorten it up a little bit this week. So let's get right into it. Yeah. So actually, before we dig into the numbers, we're going to talk about what we did this month because we did a lot of moving around. So that was something you Unique. We've been trying to be in a place anywhere from uh, four to seven weeks or maybe even longer just trying to settle down in the midst of COVID. That just seems to make sense. Nonetheless, this month we made a trek across the country. So we started out the month on August the 1st in Asheville, North Carolina, and we drove all the way to Washington, basically to the coast. And so almost, end to end. almost <laughs> coast to coast. Along the way, we spent one night in a hotel in Missouri. We spent eight nights in a hotel in Denver, Colorado. And then we spent one night in Idaho. Is mm -hmm. that right? And then we made it to Washington and we are here now and thrilled to be here. Oh, yeah. We paid for all those hotel stays with points. That's true. So you're not going to see those in our numbers. Um, but just to let you know, those were hotel stays with points. So our spending for August came out to $3,769. I have all my notes here. So if we're looking down a lot, that's why, because there's a lot of numbers on these and we don't memorize these things. So we try to aim for $3,000 a month or $36,000 a year. And we came into August at a surplus. We were at about $1,500 of a cushion. So we're still okay because we still do have a little bit of a cushion left, but we're gonna get into why we're not feeling so safe about that really as the video continues. So, but we did spend $3,769. And the number one category was health and fitness at $1,687. That's Woo. awful. That's so awful. It's just, it's, just, it's a shame. So basically all we did was preventative care and some other stuff, which we'll talk about. Nothing, but, no big deal. But, but like, no big deal. So uh, uh, the biggest chunk of this, I believe, was my dentist. I went to, I had, actually, we both went to the dentist in Denver and had a cleaning and then I had a cavity filled in Denver as well. When I was there, uh, they told me, and I, I had put off getting this cavity filled from a year ago because they told me that there's some chance I might need a root canal if I get this filled. And so sure enough, the dentist said, you probably need a root canal. And even so, though she didn't do an x-ray. Even though, <laughs> and regardless, that's a different story. And so once I showed up here in Washington, I went to an endodontist. He basically said that I do not need to have a root canal now. And he said that potentially this could be asymptomatic for 30 years, but I did have to pay him $179 for him to tell me that, which is great news. But nonetheless, it did. We had an expensive month of dentistry. So that was a big chunk of just uh, checking in on things, really. So it was And it wasn't just dentistry. We spent $1,134. We met with our dermatologist for our annual review. I went to a chiropractor once. And when you say that, that, that number is all of medical, so dental. All medical. Med yeah. All Anyone who has the word doctor before their name, it, dentists, chiropractors, whatever, they were in that month. Now, the kind of crazy thing is, is several of those visits aren't going to be billed until September. So there's maybe another thousand dollars in September. And none of that money, that money all goes toward our deductible with our health insurance-ish, which is with Liberty Health Shares. So we're not getting any of that money back. And that is just what it is. And dental just is seldom covered by any sort of insurance, medical insurance here in the States. We don't know abroad what that looks like, but that is always going to be separate. You'd have to have a separate plan if you wanted to have dental coverage. Yeah, so. we had nothing wrong and it was yeah. $1,134. So we did mention we use that Liberty Health Shares. It is going up a lot. It's going up to $500 in one month in on October 1st, less than a month. We haven't done any work yet to find a better provider for us. And it is what it is. We've actually been kind of busy. So uh, so 349 right now for Liberty, going up 40%. I'm going to put up a playlist of all the videos we do about our 
health care because we get asked a lot about it. So I'm just going to put it all up there. Check it out. Well, one other thing. We also, maybe you weren't moving on. Were you moving on from doctors? No. Oh, oh some oh. doctors I was, but I was oh. going on to more health and beauty. Oh, okay. Beauty. Well, beauty. So this is actually, so usually this is, we call this the health and fitness category. We added beauty to this category this <laughs> month. Because it didn't go anywhere because, else. But we had a, a haircut this month that was expensive. And so we didn't like the fact that it was falling into miscellaneous. And so this is going to be health, fitness, and beauty. So we'll we put don't toiletries. spend much on beauty. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> toiletries and things like this in this category going forward instead of miscellaneous. So that'll be there. But our story with the haircut this month is we both went to Amy's uh, uh, beautician. And I don't know what this, she's called. <laughs> That's like a word from like 40 <laughs> from, years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, she does have the hair dryers. Or, I don't know. She, uh, regardless, whatever. we went to see her in Boulder, Colorado, and she cut Amy's hair. And then she kindly offered to show Amy how to use, we have these shears or their uh, clippers or whatever. I'd bought these like three years ago with the intention <laughs> of Amy was going to cut my hair. And so we never got around to making that happen. So we thought we're going to go get these out of storage in the middle of COVID. It just sort of makes some sense to have these I was these hoping things. they were lost. <laughs> so she tried to teach Amy how to cut my hair. And I'm going to go with it was a fail. And uh, <laughs> As so, I thought that so, it would but be. But I think she can do it. She just needs to spend some time with it. So I, I think we're going to She has to no confidence so, to do your hair. So Amy worked on my hair a little bit here in the barber chair while she's trying to instruct. And then she basically gave up on Amy and said, okay, I'll finish it up. So we had to pay. We, we paid offered her. To pay. We offered to pay her for my haircut as well as Amy's haircut, and that was a big. Uh, and then we also gave her a really good tip because she did right. like a forty-five so it was minute lesson. And some and, odd yeah, and I also so I've been buying hair. I don't know shampoo and conditioner at places like Walmart and the grocery store, and my hair has been getting super dry, like hay. So I wanted to get a better quality shampoo, and I did at the salon. So, um, so yeah, so the one hundred and twenty-seven dollars included both of us getting a haircut, giving her a nice tip whatever so and I only get one haircut a year so I'm really not too worried about it okay we have mentioned before one of my fun fabulous frugal finds from maybe I don't know like May was Beachbody online mm. I exercise online with Beachbody and our last stop I have been digging my Beachbody so much that I signed up for instead of my three months that I had been doing a six month plan well we were on a poured concrete floor which was really great for exercising it wasn't so great for cardio probably for my knees and for my joints but it was great because I do kickboxing I do dancing and it was and I do like quick moves on my feet so it was easy to do it on concrete because it was a little slick but I am now in a place with thick carpet and we're actually where we are recording right now is where I would do my exercise so it's not a lot of space and it's kind of like carpet that doesn't work with like I don't know a lot of jumping jacks and and burpees and stuff like that so I have got to figure something else out Beachbody has all kinds of other programs and I will have to get I don't know figuring that out and maybe our next stop I'll get back into the program that I was doing which I, I loved I think the carpet here is just a ruse so basically <laughs> in in uh, in North Carolina I would eat cheese it's and drink beer and watch Amy exercise. And I think she just got tired of that. So I, I think point. it's just like, but actually I haven't had beers. I haven't had cheese it since we've been here and I've had very <laughs> limited beers. So I was supposed to have a dry month in August. That was not a complete, uh, uh, I wouldn't call it a failure, but it wasn't a success. But maybe a dozen. A, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe for the entire month beers. I had like a dozen beers. But yeah. Nonetheless, yeah. And by the way, I exercise pretty much every day in Asheville while Tim is sitting on the couch eating cheese its So I was proud of myself for doing that then. Got to get back into it. Maybe I'll get you into something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm looking at other alternatives on my beach body because I, I do like exercising. Um, okay, number two is food and dining, $906. Now that breaks down to groceries at $190. That's absolutely nothing for the two of us um, because we also did a lot of stock up of meat and stuff when we got here to Washington. But what that is, is dining out, $716. Why is it so high? That's really high. It is. And we've been kind of slammed on some of our videos about our spending that, hey, $3,000 is like so rich. You guys are like doing really poorly at reining in your spending. Here's the thing is we're not saying we're the cheapest people in the world or living the, the cheapest lifestyle. We are just trying to live the very best, richest life that we can live on a reduced budget. And we're trying to always optimize and find value in things. So we spent $716 dining out. We saw, I saw 63 friends when I was in Denver. So we had a hotel with a pool deck, had different groups come and visit with us outside and socially distance. We had lots of people, uh, solos and couples come who didn't belong in a specific group. And it was amazing. I haven't had any girl time, alone girl time in 2020. So I had girl time, a lot of it. And it was phenomenal. And I probably saw about 
40 some on. I think Amy actually wrote it down. How much was it? 42? You had something, so in the low 40s, I had in the low 60s. Yeah. But we had a home that was an extended stay hotel, and we intended to do some cooking and to stay healthy. No, we not, had no time. We had planned. As a matter of fact, that's the reason we stayed at this mm -hmm. property was so they had a kitchen because we were going to cook net. and we were going to try and, and do some cooking there. We did zero. So I think I used the microwave a little bit, and uh, but we didn't do any We were busy, cooking. 63 yeah. friends, and we also saw like eight to 10, I don't know, maybe 12 doctor's appointments and uh, the haircuts and all that stuff. So we ate out a lot is the yeah. way we, I guess, net this out. Uh, more than Every we meal we had in Denver was out. Yeah. We brought in some food. Like, so we had a group of, I don't know, a dozen or so friends. We ordered in some restaurant food that we took care of. We went, some of our viewers, fabulous, fabulous viewers. Hello, Larry and Sally came for almost a week here to where we are in Washington. And we spent three days with them. It was phenomenal. And one of those days we got on a ferry and went to San Juan Island, to Friday Harbor. And we went to two different meals at a place. We, I, I wouldn't say place. it's meal, place, but yeah. we had a really nice outdoor lunch on the patio overlooking a beautiful harbor. And certainly we were paying for this island location and for this great outdoor space on the patio with this beautiful view. And then we went back because we had to wait for the ferry for about an hour and a half. And we went back for drinks. And so it was about $100. For us, that's kind of a lot of money, but it was 100% worth it. We So, so that's a... a not a crazy splurge, but that was a splurge that really felt great, and, and I feel good about that. Yeah, 100%. So it was a, like we said, so we, we're just trying to, we, we, we're trying to optimize our life. We're not trying to be as cheap as we can possibly be. And we still have fat. This is, yeah. I mean, this video, if anything, these videos show there's still fat in our budget. We could trim down if we had to. So if you're trying to find ways to trim down, we still live a, a fat lifestyle. We're happy where this is, though. Yep. Moving on to number three is our home and lodging. For the month of August, it was $537. Now that includes $52 for our storage unit, our monthly rate, and the bulk of it is for the home we're in now. So we are in the second home of a friend who has not been able to use it because of COVID, and she really kindly offered it to us. And we have also been trying to go out of our way to earn our keep because it's not Airbnb'd out, it's not rented out, and but nonetheless, she gave us a killer, killer rate, and we're really appreciative of that. So, so we wanted to do some above and beyond things to make small improvements and, and just, yeah, just and, fix and it just, things. Yeah, exactly. So I think we, we try and... Uh, whenever we're in a situation, even if it's like a house sit, so we're always trying to have it feel, feel like it's an, e an equitable sort of exchange. And so here, um, we're, we're certainly not paying anywhere near market rates for the rent. So we do things to go above and beyond. So we, I mowed the lawn. I actually fixed the lawn more. I went and got a spark plug and got it running and mowed the lawn. <laughs> I would not so know how to do that. So we've replaced uh, light bulbs. So the just mailbox. simple things. We replaced their mailbox. Lots which of the, batteries. The lid was falling off. We replaced, uh, yeah, batteries lots and, and remote lots of controls. Batteries. It seems like, yes, so many <laughs> things, including our own devices. It seems like all at once, every device in the home. We needed 40 needs, batteries. Needs lots of batteries. So we, we've uh, dealt with a lot of batteries this month, including the garage door opener. I don't know if you mentioned that or not. So we've had a, a variety of things, just sort of fix the projects, minor things, but things that just to, to make a little difference, just to sort of earn our keep here. And I think Tim and I are very sensitive about being mooches. Now, side note for our international viewers, is mooch a word that you know outside of uh, the country? Because it's definitely a word where I come from in New York City. And we don't want to be taking more than we're giving. We like to enter a situation, and as Tim mentions, equitable, or doing more like above and beyond. So it's something that we might be frugal, but we don't want to be cheap and, and really taking advantage of people. Auto and transport, number four, $188. Now this was made much better because we had a credit back from a canceled flight on Iberia. We had a business class ticket from Madrid to Los Angeles mid-September, and that was canceled back in June. We finally got the taxes and fees returned to us just in August, so it took over two months to get that back. But that was $284 in a credit. But our gas was $377, primarily because we drove across the country. So we did a lot of driving in Denver from appointment and event to one to another, but, uh, and then of course, 
driving here was, was huge. And we've been driving quite a bit here. This is very spread out. We're in Skagit County in Washington. Very, very spread out. So when we get in the car, we're driving a bit for yeah. half an hour minimum every time we get in the car. Yeah. Okay, we had an oil change for $66. And when we took that day trip to Friday Harbor, we went on a ferry that was $29. Very well worth that splurge. No Why don't you take business for $188? Yep, yeah, so we did two things this month associated with our business. So we, it seems like business has been zero, 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 and then all of a sudden things are coming together and with they're the big cam numbers. camera purchase and so and we don't make any money on our business <laughs> that's right, that's right. but there you go our, our hundred and by the way this is our business just uh, so you know this is the business this is the business this, right. is, the this business. is the what business what do we have this is our yes. business so um so nonetheless we spent on a domain renewal and a hosting account for uh, a domain and a ho and the hosting so uh one of those is with godaddy one of those is with bluehost i can't remember which is which but nonetheless uh the one the hosting account it was, I think I had signed up for three years as one of these cheap things. We don't have a lot of traffic on our website because we don't <laughs> update it very regularly. And so it's, uh, we have the cheapest plan that you can possibly buy. And so th when it came time to renew, they wouldn't let me renew at this super cheap price, and at least online. And so I picked up the phone and called them, uh, just like you would do with the cable company if you, after your cheap rate sort of expires and you want, to, they're not going to offer it anymore. You can call them up and typically negotiate. We did that with our hosting, and they offered me the, the cheaper rate. So that's something if you happen to have a hosting account and your cheap rate's going to run out, you can call up and oftentimes, I think, negotiate the, the better rate with them. Well, not negotiate, just have a conversation. Often they'll offer that to you. So that was our business expenses this month. Good news. Number six, utilities, $132. I'm going to put a video up about details about our cell phone service. My Google Fi was a piece of that, but the majority of the 132 was $92 for Tim's service, and that was for Mint Mobile. Now, Tim pays annually for Mint Mobile, and it is roughly $200 a year. Because we have a link down below that viewers click, We Tim's had a couple of referrals, so the viewers click, they get a little discount, he gets a little discount. So normally that should be $200, it was only $92. So thank you to the viewers who signed up using that link. But it is an incredible service for a cell phone service for $92, and it works amazing for him in the yeah, US. it's an incredible deal, even at $200, it's a fantastic deal. So it's roughly $15 a month, and then there's some taxes, which rounds up to about $200 all, all, all in. And so I've been very, very happy with Mint Mobile and think this is a great value you. And I, I use Mint Mobile and Google Fi. So the cool thing about Google Fi is when you are not using it, you can just turn it off, sort of put it on pause. You're not paying anything. And then when you need it, you can just turn it back on. So my plan is to use this super, super cheap Mint Mobile thing when I'm here in the States. And then when I go abroad, I'll turn on Google Fi and use it abroad. And then when I come back to the States, I'll turn it off and use Mint Mobile here. And so that's our plan. Obviously, since we didn't leave the country, I've been using Mint Mobile all year. And again, it's, uh, it, uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy with the service that I'm getting from, uh, from Mint Mobile. Entertainment, number seven, $115. We took out $200 from the ATM cash. And we took, uh, because that could be, I don't know, for months we could have that money. We don't spend a lot of cash. We spend credit cards. We use credit cards for everything. So we took $100, put it in our food and dining, and $100 and put it in our entertainment because these are places where we might spend some cash. Well, in fact, when we went to San Juan Island, we got on a trolley, like this open air trolley, and rode around the island on it, and that was 40 bucks, cash only. So it's for that kind of thing. So we had $100 in our entertainment budget, and we've already spent 40 of it. Instead of actually taking that and sort of putting it in the bank and then accounting for it as we go along, it's, too we much it's, just, it's easier to do it here and just say that this is where it's gonna go. It may not end up there, but there Close you go. Close enough. It, Close it enough. does reflect our accurate spending it might not be in the exact bucket. Close We're enough. fine with that. Yeah. Okay, to wrap up the last three categories, shopping, $10. That's for Tim's virtual machine, so he can tap into his mainframe. I don't know. Nine uh, is miscellaneous at only $6. And 10 is tax taxes at yeah, zero. 10. Oh, no, number 10, category 10 is taxes. I thought you said category $10 10. for taxes. Zero taxes. Zero for taxes, yes. category 10. So where that brings us for the... So through... August, we should be at eight months, 
$3,000, we should be at $24,000. Well, our spending so far year to date is $23,526. That puts us at 98% on target, which is great. However, we are very possibly going to be spending for some big bucks Airbnbs coming up here at the end of the year. We have, as I mentioned, like maybe $1,000 in, um, in medical basic things that have already been charged. So we are not letting up on the gas yet of keeping on our budget and, and we're not feeling yeah, like so, so smooth sailing well, on this. Just a quick qualifier here of why we may go to Airbnb. So our friend here in Washington has offered for us to stay here as long as we like, which she doesn't know what she signed up for. Because so. <laughs> we may never we, leave. That's right, we may never leave. But nonetheless, as, as you probably know, we are trying to be at 75 degrees all the time. And so it's going to get chilly here in Washington. And so we are going to head south uh, probably in the early November time frame, potentially mid-October, oh. just to sort of chase the, the weather that we're uh, we're looking for. Uh, and that's that's it from us. So thanks for staying tuned. We will see you next week. Adios. Adios.